Okay, so let's get ourselves warmed up. We're gonna do 10 jumping jacks, whether it's high impact or low. Once you have done your 10 jacks, you're gonna alternate 10 front lunges. Again, just keep the lunge nice and small. Don't go very deep. We just wanna get those hips, knees, and ankles warmed up, right at a rock and roll. Once you've done five left, five right, we're gonna go into some leg swings. Feel free to hold on to something for balance if you need to. If you don't have anything close by, just find a focal point for the eyes to stare at. Tighten up through that core. And just swing arm to opposite leg and that will help with the balance. We're gonna do 10 on the left, 10 on the right. Once you have done your 10 and 10, come down onto the floor. High plank or push up position. We're gonna go into a spider climb rotation. So you're gonna take one foot, step it nice and wide to the same hand. Take that hand, open up towards the ceiling. Step that foot back. Same thing on the other side. Make sure your eyes follow that hand to the ceiling. And then take an extra second or two to really open up through that hip, chest, and shoulder. We're gonna do five on the left, five on the right. Once you have done your 10, stay down in the plank position. We're gonna finish off with either 10 plank toe taps or 10 plank jacks. So either jump or step the feet out to the side. Once you've done your toe taps or jacks, come on up. We're gonna rock and roll. So we have three different circuits that we're gonna work through today. Circuit number one, 20 seconds on, 20 seconds on. We don't rest until we get to the bottom of the circuit. Then we get to take a full minute. And we're gonna go through this circuit four times. So move number one, you're gonna need one dumbbell. 20 second one arm press, 20 second one arm press. Then we go 20 second split lunge pulse at the bottom. And then we switch, then we hit the deck. We're gonna do one push up, knees or toes, followed by one cross body mountain climber. Then we stand up for some jumping jacks. So we just go 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, then we take a break, rinse and repeat. So grab one dumbbell for me for one arm overhead press. That's where we get to start. Again, 20 seconds is gonna go pretty quick. So if you can up your weight, do it. This is the time to do it. 20 seconds, you're not doing the move for very long. So challenge yourself. All right guys, you ready? Here we go. Knee soft, abs tight, get that bicep to ear. Make sure you don't arch the back as you get that weight overhead. We've only got 10 seconds left. You're gonna flow right into that other side. There is no break. We got three seconds. Get ready to switch hands. Good, switch and go. Don't feel rushed. Take your time with the movement. I want good form. Knee soft, abs nice and tight. We got about five seconds left. We're gonna go into a split lunge pulse. So body weight, hold on to just the one dumbbell or grab two dumbbells. Take a leg out in front, get nice and low. And I want you to pulse it out in that bottom position. Keep those shoulders down and back, chest up. Weight through that front foot. The lower you can get, the more you're going to feel those legs work. We got two seconds. Switch it out. Other side, right into it guys, no break. When the timer goes, we're on the floor, push up position, knees or toes. One push up, one cross body mountain climber. We got five seconds, get ready to hit the deck. Good. So one push up, knees or toes, knee, knee. So cross body mountain climber, knee to opposite elbow, Keep that back nice and flat. Pull that belly button up into the spine. Three seconds, guys, we stand up. Jumping jacks, just like the warm up. Here we go, 20 seconds. Nice, tall posture for me. Keep those abs engaged. 10 seconds. We're gonna take a full minute rest, and then we rinse and repeat. Nice, good, 
rest. Grab some water. Now that you know what's happening, take this time. Make any weight changes before we start round two. So we start with that one arm overhead press. If you think you can go up, grab that heavier weight. If you're good, awesome. If you need to drop down, have that ready to rock and roll. Woo! All right, we got 30 seconds. We're gonna go back to that one arm press, left, right. If you wanna elevate your foot on that second round for the split lunge, make sure you've got your chair, your step. Make sure you're close to the staircase if you're using a set of stairs. And that way you can just flow very smoothly. All right, we got 10 seconds, guys. Find your dumbbell for me. Woo, ready, set, here we go. One arm overhead press. Knee soft, abs nice and tight. Lock in that core. Stagger your feet if you find that you're moving through the body. That's it, guys. We got about five seconds. We switch hands and we get right to it. Good. Switch. Take that posture check. Tighten up that core. Knee soft. Getting that bicep to ear. In about five seconds, we're gonna go back to that split lunge. So get ready to pick a side, left or right. Grab a second dumbbell if you want. Here we go, split those feet, get nice and low, pulse it out. Get as low as you can, guys. Weight on that front foot. Just pulsing in that bottom half. Five seconds, we switch the legs. Three, two, Good, switch and go. That's it, keep those shoulders down and back for me. Engage those abs, pulse it out, get nice and low. Push up with that cross body mountain climber coming up in about five seconds, get ready to hit the deck. One push up, knees or toes, cross body, cross body. Do the push up, knees or toes, guys, and then pop up onto the toes for that cross body mountain climber. We got five seconds. Jumping jacks coming up. Come on up, jack it out. High impact, low impact. I just need you to move for the 20 seconds, guys. That's it. We have another one minute break coming up. Five seconds, come on. There it is, good. Grab some water. You're a little bit more warmed up. Can you go a little heavier on a few things? Yes or no? Now's that time to make those adjustments. Get them ready to go. Woo. Take a nice few big deep breaths. Get that heart rate back under control. We got about 30 seconds, guys. We're gonna go into our third round. We got four rounds total. Woo. Jumping jacks, get your heart rate up. All right, guys, I am taking my own advice. I'm going up in my weight. All right, we got 15 seconds. Figure out what you're doing for that one arm shoulder press. Are you going heavier, staying the same? Do you need to drop it down? All right, in five, four, three, Two, here we go. Get that bicep to ear, tighten up that core. Watch that body. If you need to add a bit of a push press, totally fine. Just don't arch the back. We got about five seconds. We're gonna flow right into that second side. Good, switch and go. That's it guys, do that posture check. Engage those abs. Knees are nice and soft. Getting that bicep to ear. We got five seconds, split lunges coming up. One dumbbell, two or body weight. Good, take a side, get low, pulse it out. Weight on that front foot, shoulders down and back. The lower you get, the more challenging it's going to be on that front leg. We got five seconds, we're gonna switch sides. 
Right into it, guys. Get those eyes up. Try not to look down at your floor. Keep that belly button pulled into the spine. You got it, guys. Come on, we got about five seconds. We hit the deck. Push up with that one mountain climber, cross body mountain climber. Knees or toes. One push up. Knee, knee. Keep that back nice and flat. Abs tight. Hips square to the floor. Remember, drop to the knees to the push up if you need to. Three seconds. Come on. Jumping jacks. High impact or low, or a bit of both. As long as you're moving for the whole 20 seconds, I'm happy. That's it, guys. Come on. Five seconds left. Right to that timer. One minute break coming up. Nice. One minute rest, guys. We have that one more time. Can you change your weights up again? Yes or no? Can you go a bit heavier? Are you good right where you are? Do you need to bring it down a notch so that you can keep that good form? Now's the time to make those changes. With these 20 seconds, perfect, perfect chance to try and push yourself a little bit with that weight. That is how we grow, that's how we get stronger. Woo, big deep breaths, guys. We got about 20 seconds, last round, we get to move on. So back to that one arm shoulder press. Pick a weight, pick a side. We got about 10 seconds left. So let's start getting ourselves set up. All right, we got five, four, three, two. Here we go. Get that bicep to here, tighten up that core. Knees are nice and soft. Nice, big, full range of motion, guys. 10 seconds, we switch sides. That's it, come on. Four, three, two. Switch it out. Right into it. Do that quick posture check, guys. Are the abs engaged, knees soft? Keeping those eyes up. We got about five seconds. Split lunge coming up. Two dumbbells, one or body weight. Good, pick a side, get low, pulse it out. Good work guys, this is our last round. See if you can get a little lower into that lunge position, keeping that nice tall posture. We only got five seconds left, we get to switch. There it is, switch it out. Drop that other back knee. Keep that chest up. Eyes straight up in front of you guys. We have that push up with the cross body mountain climber coming up in about five seconds. So get ready to hit the deck. There it is. One push up, one cross body mountain climber. Eyes on the floor, belly button pulled up into the spine, back nice and flat, hips are square. Five seconds, guys. We got our jumping jacks. There it is, pop it up, jack it out. Last 20 seconds, let's go. You got this, come on. We have a water break coming up. We're gonna move on. Good, five seconds, come on, right to that timer. Nice work, guys. All right, grab some water. 35 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna alternate between two moves. Each move is gonna get done four times. So, circuit number one. I need 35 and 10, there it is. Goblet squats are number one. So I need one dumbbell or kettlebell up front, 35 seconds of a goblet squat. Then we hit the deck, plank position. Forearms and toes, plank body saws. If you don't want to do that rocking motion, you simply hold the plank as your alternative. All right, everybody's got to wait. I need you to pop it up in front of the chest. Feet are gonna be a little wider so you can get down a little bit deeper. You ready? Here we go. We're gonna sit and stand. Eyes are up, 
abs are engaged. You're gonna push that butt back into the squat, weight through the heels, and then drive through the heels, squeezing those glutes on the way up. We got 15 seconds left. You're gonna find your mat. We're gonna get set up into our plank position, forearms and toes. That's it, five seconds, guys, come on. Plank body saw, it's coming up. Good, find your mat, hit the deck. Remember your alternative, just hold the plank. Take that rock right out. Nice flat back. Keep your belly button pulled up into the spine. And you're gonna rock back and forth, pushing through that ankle. Now your alternative, hold the plank, either from the toes or from the knees. You can always start with the body soft, drop it down to a plank hold if you need to. We got 10 seconds, guys. All we need to do is rinse and repeat three more times. You got it. Come on up. Back to that goblet squat. Grab your weight. Get it up in front, feet a little wider. Grab a seat, stand tall. So when you sit down, I want chest up, weight through the heels, push that butt back. Squeeze the glutes as you stand up. I want you to get as low as you can into that squat without letting your chest fall forward. That's it, come on, we got about 10 seconds left, guys. Back to that plank body saw. Get nice and low. Five seconds. Come on, right to that timer. Find your mat, make your deck. Forearms and toes, guys. Keep your eyes on the floor. I need a flat back. Pull that belly button up into the spine to help support the lower back and just move through that ankle joint. You can make the movement nice and small. You can make it nice and big. You can take the rock right out and just hold it. We got 10 seconds, two rounds left. Starting with that goblet squat again. In four, three, two. Two down, two go. Grab your dumbbell or kettlebell, pop it up in front. Get your feet a little wider. Grab a seat, stand tall. Nice work, guys. See on each round if you can get a little lower into that squat. A good target is elbows to knees. If you can get lower than that, awesome. But that's sort of your goal with the goblet squat is to get those elbows to touch the knees. We got 10 seconds left. We're gonna go back into that plank, body saw. Good, last five, come on. Get low. Woo, find your mat. Get ready to rock it out, guys. Forearms and toes. Rock it back and forth. Nice flat back. Abs nice and tight. Move through that ankle joint. Make it as big or as small as you need to, or just hold the plank, guys. Lots of options. We got 15 seconds. We have one more of each. So if you think you can go heavier on your goblet squat on your last round, I'm gonna challenge you to do that. In four, three, two. Nice work. Last round, guys, and then we'll take a water break and move on. Get your weight up. Grab a seat, stand tall. Chest up, guys, don't look at your floor. Push that butt back as far as you can. Sit into that invisible chair. Squeeze that butt on the way up. See if you can get those elbows to touch those knees. We got 15 seconds, come on, guys. One more time with that plank body saw. 10 seconds. Last five, right to that timer. Woo! 
Hit the deck! Pop it up when you're ready. Rock it out. Keep that back nice and flat, eyes on the floor. Pull that belly button up into the spine. You got it, guys. Make that body saw as big or as small as you want, or just hold it. We got 15 seconds. Water break coming up. We're gonna move on to two different exercises. That's it. Last five, come on. Woo! Grab some water, guys. All right, timing stays the same. Exercises get to change. Probably could have just had you stay down on the floor, but that's okay. We're gonna do a push-up rotation or a push-up into a side plank. This can be done from the knees or the toes or a combination of. So, one push-up, knees or toes, you rotate into a side plank, either from the knees or from the toes. So from the knees, it looks like this. So that is your first 45 seconds. Then we stand up. We're gonna need one dumbbell or one kettlebell. We're gonna go into a one arm high pull or upright row. So you will need one weight. All right, we get to start on the floor. If you still need your mat for the knees, have it ready to rock and roll. Have your dumbbell ready for those upright rows. Here we go. One push up, knees or toes. Go into that side plank. When you go into the plank, take your time. I want you to get right onto the sides of your feet if you can. Eyes follow the hand to the ceiling. Slow it down so you can control the movement. We got 10 seconds left, guys. We stand up, grab one dumbbell or kettlebell, and we're gonna go into an upright row or high pull. Good. All right, find your weight. Grab some water if you need to on the way up. I need you to pick a side, left or right. You're gonna lead with the elbow, so make sure your elbow is higher than the wrist. Your dumbbell or kettlebell is going to graze your torso as it goes up, so keep it super close. Knee soft, keep that core engaged. What I don't want is this. Don't arch the back. Stagger the feet if you need to, guys, to help with that posture. We got 10 seconds. We gotta switch sides. In five, four, three, two. Switch hands. If your feet are staggered, feel free to switch your feet. Tighten up through that core again. Eyes are up. Make sure you lead with that elbow. Elbow is higher than the wrist. I don't care if you come up just halfway up the torso or if you can get that dumbbell right to the collarbone. Work within a range that's good with, for you while keeping that elbow higher than the wrist. 15 seconds, guys. We're gonna go back down into that push-up rotation. All we have to do is rinse and repeat three more times. In five, four, three, two, Hit the deck. Push up rotation, guys. Knees or toes, or a bit of both. Drop that chest. Twist to look up towards your ceiling. If you're on your toes, make sure your feet are far enough apart to allow for that full rotation onto the side of the foot. Slow it down. The faster you go, the more chance you have of losing your balance. We got 10 seconds, guys. We're gonna go back into that one arm high pull or upright row. If you need to go heavier or lighter with your weight, make that change. Good. Woo. Grab your weight. If you can go higher, go higher. Totally up to you. Knees soft, abs are tight. Lead with that elbow. Stagger the feet if that helps with your posture. Graze the body with that weight. Keep it nice and close. 
And again, don't worry about your speed. And work within a range that's good for you. 15 seconds, guys, that's it, come on. Control the weight on the way up. Control it on the way down. Don't swing the weight up with the body. We got four seconds, we're gonna switch sides. Good, same thing, other side. Make sure you don't switch weights from left to right. Keep them the same. You ready? Shoulders down and back. Lead with that elbow. Tighten up that core. Keep your eyes up. Watch that lower back. Don't arch it to lift the weight up higher. Work within a range is good for you guys. As you get stronger, you're gonna be able to get that elbow up higher. Good, we got about 10 seconds left, guys. We got two rounds left, starting with that push-up rotation. Last five, come on. Three, two, there it is, hit the deck. Knees or toes or a bit of both. Throw up that chest for the push-up. Eyes, follow the hand for that side plank. Keep that abs, keep those abs nice and tight, guys. Pull that belly button up into the spine to support the lower back. Feel free to slow it down. Feel free to do the push-up from the knees or do the rotation from the knees. We got 10 seconds left. We're gonna go back into that one arm high pull. Three seconds. Good, find your dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you're using. Pick a side, left or right. Soften those knees, tighten up that core. Have that weight. Shave the body on the way up, getting up to the collarbone as high as you can, making sure that elbow is higher than the wrist. Don't worry about your speed. Take an extra second at the bottom if you need to. That would be your little break. Good. 10 seconds left, guys, and then we're gonna switch sides. Watch that lower back. Try not to swing that weight up. In four, three, two. Good, switch it out. We've only got one round left of this, guys, and then we get to finish off. Get that elbow up. Make sure that core is nice and tight. Watch the lower back. Make sure those knees are nice and soft. You got it, guys. Come on. Nice work. Come on, we got 15 seconds left. We're almost there. One more round. We're gonna finish off push-up rotation one more time. Five seconds, let's go, right to that timer. Get that elbow up as high as you can. Woo, hit the deck, how are those shoulders feeling? Knees or toes, guys, get ready to drop that chest. One push up, one rotation. Make sure those eyes are following your hands. Keep that belly button pulled back into the spine. You got it, guys, come on. Last time with these push-up rotations. Let's finish this strong. We got 15 seconds left. Last 10. Almost there, guys. One arm high pull, coming up. In five, four, three, two. Good, find your dumbbell or kettlebell. Pick a side, left or right. Stay here with their feet if you need to. Lead with that elbow. Nice work, guys. Tighten up through that core, keep your eyes up. Take that extra second at the bottom if you need to. Good. You got it, come on. We've only got one circuit left. 15 seconds left here, guys. Come on, we're almost done. We've only got one arm left. Last five. Woo, shake it out. One more arm, guys. One more arm. And then we're gonna go 
grab some water. Tighten up, lead with that elbow. Aim for the collarbone with your weight. Make sure your weight is super close to the body, like you're shaving your torso. Knees are soft, abs are engaged, eyes are up. Take that extra second at the bottom if you need to. That's it guys, come on, we got about 10 seconds left. We're gonna grab water, we're gonna finish off with an AMRAP. We're gonna go for about five minutes. In three, two, woo! Shake it out, grab some water guys. So AMRAP to finish you off. Find my timer. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. Your magic number is 12 for everything. Even if it's a left and a right, that means six and six. So dumbbell or kettlebell, 12 two-handed swings. And then we hit the deck, 12 mountain climbers. So knees coming straight into the chest, that's six and six. Then 12 jumping lunges. Now, if you don't wanna jump, you can do more of a hop or just do a reverse lunge, six and six. An offset push-up. This is how it's gonna look. Think of one arm in a tricep position and the other hand out nice and wide in a push-up position. So, knees or toes, you choose. One hand right under the shoulder, other hand comes out wide. You're gonna drop down into this offset push-up and then switch sides. Offset and then switch. Knees or toes. You can even do this with your hands elevated off the floor. Then we come up. We're gonna do 12 high knees. So that's six and six or a high knee march. You ready? So we got swings. Just think of 12 and I'll talk you through it. Stay with me if you can. Dumbbell or kettlebell, you choose. You are ready? Here we go. 12 swings. Up. Good. Last 10, eyes up, eight, push that butt back, last five, four, squeeze that butt, three, two, and park it, hit the deck, we got mountain climbers for 12, that's six and six, back nice and flat, six, five, four, three, two, one, come on up. 12 jumping lunges. Jump it, hop it, step it. Here we go. 12, 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hit the deck. Offset push ups. Knees or toes. Choose which side's narrow, which side's wide. Here we go. 12, switch hands. 11, switch, 10, you got it, 9, keep that back flat, 8, abs are tight, 7, 6, hips nice and square to the floor, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one guys, High knees, coming up. Nice work, come on up. March it, run it. Here we go, 12. Totally lost count, three, two, one. That sounds about right. All right, we got our swings again. Eyes up, chest up, here we go. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, you got it. Two, one more. Hit the deck. We got mountain climbers, guys. Six per leg, here we go. One, two, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! You ready to do those lunges? Jump in, hop in, step it. 12, 11, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, offset push ups. Hit the deck, guys. Here we go. 12, switch sides. 11, 10, two minutes left. Nine, eight, 
You got it, guys. Seven, six, five. Come on, guys, almost there. Four, high knees coming up. Three, two, last one. Good. 12, high knees, here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Swings. We got a minute and a half, guys. Head up, chest up. Here we go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Mountain climbers. Part that weight. Hit the deck. Here we go. One, two, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Let's jump those lunges. Here we go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Come on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hit the deck. Come on, guys. 35 seconds. Offset push ups. 12. 11, 10, 9, come on, 8, 7, you got this, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 more. Oh, come on up. Come on, high knees. We can do this. Here we go. One, two, three, six, five, four, three, two, one. Done. Grab some water, guys. Grab some water. Hit the deck for me when you're ready. Let's get ourselves nice and stretched out. Woo, job well done. Woo. Let's pull those knees into the chest. Give me a nice big hug. Oh, rock it out. When you're ready, arms come out to the side. Drop those knees left or right. You can hold it here or extend that top leg for a deeper stretch. I need you to try and keep that opposite arm down on the floor as much as you can. Switching sides whenever you're ready. Drop those knees. Extend that top leg if you need to go deeper. Take some nice big deep breaths, guys. Let's get that heart rate to slow down. And then we're gonna go into our hamstrings. Grabbing above or below the knee or the toe. Get that leg as straight as you can. Extend the opposite leg only if you need to go deeper into the stretch. Good, switching sides whenever you're ready. Grab above or below the knee or the toe. Straighten out that leg. Extend the opposite leg if you need a deeper stretch. And then we're gonna go into our figure four. So crossing an ankle over a knee, either push that knee away with the hand or grab onto the uncrossed leg and pull in if you need to go deeper into that hip. Switching sides whenever you're ready. Push that knee away or grab onto the uncrossed leg and pull in. Taking some nice big deep breaths still. And then we're gonna rock and roll. We're gonna sit all the way up, like straight out in front, reaching for those toes. Grabbing ankles, shoelaces, toes, whatever works. Just getting another stretch in through the lower back, hamstrings and calves. And then bringing the soles of the feet together, grab those ankles. Either let gravity do its thing or push down with the elbows if you need to go deeper. And the closer you get your heels to you, the deeper the stretch as well. Extend one leg out, let's go into that spinal twist. So give that knee a nice big hug, twist a look behind you. Getting a stretch in through the lower back and the hip. 
Switching sides whenever you're ready. Give that knee a nice big hug, twist to look behind you. Coming on to our hands and knees, we're gonna flex our feet. You're gonna push those hips up towards your ceiling. Drive the heels into your floor, getting your head between the shoulders. I want you to feel another stretch in through the calves and the hamstring. And then slowly walk your feet towards your hands and we're gonna hang like a rag doll. Think of separating those shoulder blades or pulling them apart for a mid-back stretch. And then slowly stand it up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Ooh, bringing those shoulders down and back. Interlace those hands, let's open up through the chest. Keep those shoulders down and away from the ears. Think chest out, shoulder blades together. Bringing one arm across. Get a nice stretch from around the back of the shoulder. Switching sides whenever you're ready. Give yourself a nice big old pat on the back. Push that elbow back for a nice tricep stretch. Switching sides when you're ready. And then finishing off with our quads. Hold on to something if you need to for balance. Grab the ankle. Glue, oh, glue the knees together. Keeping that chest up. Nice work. Switch legs whenever you're ready. Grab the ankle, glue the knees together, keeping that chest up nice and tall. And then you guys are done. Job well done on this workout, guys. You all did amazing. We'll see you guys in the next class.